Hello everyone, welcome to Juan Diman. Um, I'm Juan. Since I was very little, I always saw my father fixing and tweaking all sorts of devices. He was working fi uh, fixing washing machines and he kind of got into this habit of trying to fix everything by himself. He will take um, a bicycle and, and fix it and join two bicycles together and, and try to make a, a good one from it. The idea of um, being able to, to recycle things, it kind of resonates with me and living in a, in, a, in a planet in which we live with finite resources in an era in which consumism is consumism? The intention of this channel is to encourage people that have the same interest as me to, to fix things like starting from something very simple to, to making it a little bit more complicated over time and uh, I want to be able to encourage people to, to, to try at home to fix things before throwing them away and just buy the next version or, or buy them simply because something very simple on it might be broken and it's something that you might actually do at home. Nothing can compare to the satisfaction of uh, fixing something by yourself. In this chapter we are going to fix a Hoover. This is a Hoover that I bought like a decade ago and uh, it, it has been working really well, really good, really well, really good, I don't know. It has been working really good for nearly a decade um, and it's still working. I mean it's broken but, but it didn't break because a uh, PCV burned or because the engine or the motor is no longer working. It just it just was a plastic piece. Plastic piece is the only thing that broke. This is the, the piece that broke. Uh, this is a replacement. Uh, this is a 3D printed one. I Unfortunately, I was going to show the original, but my dog ate it. So this is what we have. Uh, this is the this is an attempt. These are the two attempts that I did of the piece. Let me see if I can focus on them. You can see that, that it's simply a, a hook, some form of hook, and this is what what held together the dust container and the rest of the Hoover. Just because of this piece, you could no longer use it. So this this is a key component that was meant to break. This is really thin and, uh, well, the original one was even thinner. This is kind of like a reinforced version of it. And um, the whole Hoover, the whole Hoover it works because of this piece it holds together both, both, both uh, parts. So you, you can, you can see, you can feel my frustration when, when this Hoover broke like a few, a few years ago and, and, and I started replacing the piece. I started gluing it together over and over and over again. And uh, to a point where I was like, I'm going to have to give up on this because it just doesn't work. And it's a pity because it, the, the circuit board is perfect. The, the motor is working fine. It doesn't require to, to use bags. So it's like, it's just, it's just perfect. Why, why, why would you build a design based on the fact that that tiny little plastic piece will break and you will have to replace the Hoover. So that's why we are here. This Hoover is spent around the last year uh, on, a, on a wardrobe waiting to be fixed. And, and I knew that at some point I will fix it or no, I will give away, but I didn't have the tools until I bought my, my lovely 3D printer. The 3D printer is, is, uh, is giving me so much life, to be honest. And with a little bit, with a little bit of design and skills and, and, and a few courses that you can do uh, very, very quickly, you can learn the very basics to design 3D printed pieces to mold them and print them and replace any, any appliance that is broken in your house. Nowadays, you don't need to have your own 3D printer at home. There are many, many websites that will print the pieces for you and send them via mail. I'm going to post some of them and I'm going to add some, some links on the description just in case you are interested on those services. In this case, I started by measuring and designing the sketch of, uh, of the new piece. I have a caliper at home and I measure it to make sure that I had all the corners and, and all the angles. I use Fusion 360. It's from Autodesk and you can get a personal license. So it's it's actually free. It's very intuitive and it has a lot of support from the community. So it's the to-go option for, for, for newbies like me. 
I will add a couple of links to the description of the video. Once I had the initial sketch ready, uh, the only thing needed was to, to, to bring the third dimension right. One of the issues of uh, modeling pieces based on an, an incomplete original, which I couldn't unfortunately show, is that sometimes you don't get things right uh, on the first attempt. That's the reason why I, in my case I showed two different prototypes, because the piece that I base my model off was incomplete, so I have to kind of figure out what was the distance in which the hook had to go. On the other hand, that allowed me to use a much stronger hook. So this is the wonderful Hoover. Um, I'm going to try to show how the piece tied together. This is very easy to, to get lost into it. These two airflows fit with these two. You can see that they have this sort of plastic ring that, that it uh, helps to keep the compression together because this is in the end like uh, sucking air at very high pressure. And without this, obviously, uh, there is no, no way to keep the compression between the two pieces. So you can imagine that without this, this Uber is basically uh, useless. So we're gonna see how this piece can be fit together now. This is the, the lid. We're gonna open it. Boom. There we go. Thank God we have this, right? <laughs> strong spring as it puts the pressure on, on the on the clip maybe this one first there we go you can see the rail right there and that's it very good S screw this in Put it on top of this piece. There we go. Let's put the screws in. And that's it. We have a new lid with a new clip. And this new clip. It's here perfectly. That is going to stay there hopefully for a few good years. This is a very simple example that anyone can do at their home and I really hope that there is someone out there that will require to fix this Uber. It's very very edge case anyway. Yet the, the idea of, uh, of um, fixing things and, and attempting to fix them before throwing them away is what well, has to stick with, it, with you and I really hope that this video will do it. For the next video, I will probably, not sure yet, be fixing a, a thermostat and I will have a very special collaboration with me. Uh, so if you like this, this type of contents and, and you expect to see more of this and you would like to know what happened with that thermostat, uh, please subscribe to the channel and give a like or a comment or two. Have a good day. Hello, I'm Juan. Oh, no. Cut. Hello, I'm Juan. Welcome, welcome to. Whoop, whoop, whoop.